Hi, my name is Marie. I like to make things and I like to turn around and show you how I made those things. Welcome to my channel. Yay. Boink. Anyway, so today what we're gonna do is we are going to make this spiral ring. Y'alls. I believe we did this in a live, I'm not sure. But anyway, we're gonna do it today. So what supplies are you gonna need for this project? Of course, you're gonna need your ring mandrel. You're gonna use 20 gauge copper wire. We are going to, I'm gonna be using a series of tools. I might use these, I'm not sure, but I'm definitely gonna be using this. We have our wire straighteners, which come in handy every now and again. We got our, our cutters and a file, okay, just in case. First things first. So grabbing our 20 gauge, always, and there's another tip too. I like to give little itty bitty little tips throughout my videos. Always label your wire. I do also keep a wire gauge reader thing where you can use this every now and again for rando wire and whatever, but it's so much easier to just label your wire, okay? So I'm going to be using this wire straight off the spool, okay? So grabbing my beadsmith loopers here, you can even use just regular loopers as a matter of fact, I think I'm gonna use these tiny loopers. Let's do that. So yeah, all this, of course, all this stuff is going to be in the description box below in the supplies. I will not leave you guys hanging, okay? So I'm gonna use my tiny loopers. And looking at the anatomy of this ending of this project here is we're going to be spiraling from the middle here and we're gonna be spiraling out. Okay, and then we're gonna take the end and we're gonna wrap it around a mandrel and then we're gonna secure it on the other side of the ring. So to start our spiral, of course, you get to the very, very tippity tip tip of the end and you just start spiraling. So I started off with a little tiny loop there with these little tiny pliers. So you can, this is what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna continue to loop it this way, but we are not going to be using these pliers for the whole ring. I'm just using these pliers to get it into a spirally loop. So I'm flattening it, trying to make sure that this loop and this spiral is as flat as it can be, okay? Then I'm going to grab my tiny pinchers. Eh, eh. Love these things. Now, I am going to show you guys how to wrap wire, especially spiraling. Spiraling is really hard to not get scratches on your wires, very hard. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna roll up my sleeves, I'm gonna show you a clear way in order to get it spiraled without it having scratches all on your flat surface. So, you know, it's gonna be as smooth as possible. That doesn't have any scratches on it at all. It might have a little bit, but it ain't, ain't a lot, okay? So, you're gonna take your pliers on this side right here. You're gonna stick the spiral in there, okay? And you're not going to move these pliers at all. If you move these pliers, that's where you get the scratches. You can move your hand to get it into position. You can take this hand and move the wire to get in position, but do not open up these pliers. Do not slide these pliers across your wire because that's how you get scratches, right? Science. So I like to make sure I'm at that point where I'm supposed to spiral it, okay? I'm supposed to bend it. So I'm gonna bend it with my other hand, making sure that it's not moving on the surface of my pliers. So I'm just bending it like that, okay? And I'm going to grab it again. And I'm moving, I'm doing a combination of moving this hand without opening up these pliers. I'm keeping it pinched really tight. And taking this wire, I'm combination of moving this hand and moving this wire. 
making sure that it's not moving. As soon as you feel like it's gonna move, take it out and pinch down again. Do it really tight, but don't hurt yourself while you're doing it. Just making sure that the wire is not moving and you're just spiraling by twisting your hands, but not moving the actual spiral in between the pliers. Some people can also pinch down and spiral it that way. That's a surefire way to not get any spiral, not get any scratches on your wire. So I'm giving myself a nice little spiral here and I'm trying to make sure that it's all even. It looks good to me. And I like that. All right. Now here's the part where I'm going to take my ring mandrel. I'm going to locate where the size is that I want. You see this, how this wires off to the side. So if you make a ring, the, the, the wire will be going around and the, the spiral will be pushed out front. You want to make sure this spiral is in the middle of your ring. And in order to do that is you see this end right here. You want to put it in position. So you might go under, I'm going to go under my spiral and push it out, push it underneath my spiral. See, and I'm positioning the wire so that it looks like a ring. Does that make sense? I'm just putting it in position so that this spiral is going to end up being in the middle of the ring. So I got the wire out here. Okay. And I'm just going to bend it so that you see where the wire is coming out now. It's coming out in the middle of the spiral so that it's not like up here or down here. So I'm just putting it in position. So now I'm going to take this, put it on my ring mandrel right at the size where I want it to be. I'm putting it at five and a half and I'm just wrapping it around. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to overwrap it. Okay. Meaning I'm going to wrap it past the point where I started. Okay. So now I have it doubly wrapped over and this is what it looks like. Okay. It's going across the back. Now I'm going to cut this wire with a little bit to spare. Okay. I got this little piece. I got this little piece now. Okay. So I cut enough to spare there. You see the little end. So now I'm going to grab the ring in between my fingers with my fingers holding the spiral down and I'm going to bend this end down. And I also like to take it and make sure I'm bending it up and making sure that it's not going to scratch me later on. So I want to make sure that that is happening. All right. And there you go. So you can try it on if you want to, but I'm going to take and put it right back onto my ring mandrel just to get everything lying in the spots where they're supposed to be. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay. That looks pretty good. And then I can fit it on my finger now. I got, I got man knuckles. Why do I have man knuckles? Why was I born like this with the man knuckles? And there you have it. So that's our tiny spiral ring. Okay. Now let's go bigger because you know how I work. I love going big. So let's do that. So I have some wire to spare. We're going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to use my tiny loopers and I am going to start with a little tiny loop. Boom. I can continue looping that. I'm just going to continue looping it a little bit. Okay. Squish it down. All right. And I am going to use my tiny pinchers. <laughs> I have weird names for my tools, but it's the only way for me to remember those. The, the actual names to the tools, I don't remember them very well. So 
tiny loopers, tiny pinchers. So I'm grabbing it in between and I'm just moving it into a spiral without moving it on the pliers. There you go. Okay. Now, from this point, you can use your hand and just keep going. And I'm gonna make a really big loop. Just keep going. Okay, so. So I'm gonna continue pinching this in between my hands and just spiraling it like so. Okay, how big do I want this spiral, I wonder? You know what else too? Is you can take it and put it on your hand just to see how it would look. Look at that, I kinda like that. I'll do one more spiral. Okay, there we go. Same thing, we have the spiral here and we're like, wait, if I start bending this here, the spiral is gonna kick out and it's not going to be, it's gonna be kicked out. So imagine if this this piece of wire was on the other side also, it's gonna make it so that the wire, the spiral is gonna kick out forward and we don't wanna do that. We want the spiral to be in the middle. So I'm going to take this wire and push it underneath, okay? Once I pushed it underneath, I'm going to bend it in position so that now, if I put this on my finger, like this, the wire for the ring part is going in the right place, making it so that the spiral is in the middle of the ring, okay? So now that I have that going, grab our ring mandrel like the last time, put it on the size where you want it to be, and I want it to be about five and a half, and I'm gonna wrap it around, but I'm gonna go underneath, I'm gonna pull the wire underneath the spiral, and I'm like, basically I'm over, over wrapping it, okay? So now that I have it over wrapped on the size where I want it to be, I'm gonna grab my cutters and I'm gonna cut the wire, okay? So now I have it at the size where I want it to be, okay? and I had the ring with the spiral sitting in the spot where I want it to be. And I'm going to bend holding the spiral. So I wanna make sure my spiral keeps its shape. And I'm just gonna bend this end around just to secure it and make sure that it's not getting in the way of anything. And there you have it. If you feel that it's a little pointy, grab your file and just just file it down a little bit, the end. Yeah, I feel it. Okay, and before you put it on your finger, put it on your ring mandrel. Put it in a spot where you, hopefully it is the right size. If it isn't, then push it to that size. If it's not going to, um, mangle it or anything like that. Push it to the size. You see that everything's all the same and looking good. Then you could take it off your ring mantle. Look at that. There you go. So we learned how to make ti a tiny spiral ring. Boom and a large spiral ring. Boop. You guys, wonderful job. Proud of you. I believed in you and you came through. If you didn't, that's okay. It's okay. You can always rewind. 
that's the good thing about these videos is that you can rewind and fast forward and pause and hold on a second. Let me do that again. You can do all that, okay? And then you can come through. So you guys, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment. If you guys want to be a part of my Discord to show me your finished project, if you look below in the description box, there is an email address down there. It's martiandiscord at gmail.com. Just send me a little email and I'll send you the link to my Discord. I guess that's it, you guys. I guess I will see you in the next video, okay? Bye! Yay!